In this video tutorial, we looked at the World Robotics Olympiad and the challenge for 2015, the regular elementary challenge. And uh, you can check out the links below for the rules for the competition. It, uh, it will be probably a very nice competition. And uh, it involves uh, the following challenge. The robot must move and the robot is previously loaded with 27 balls that is the maximum and when the robot moves on the field uh, it must at certain moments release the balls so that's the challenge and the ball must fall on the on the field and uh, our idea was to build a robot that uh, is in the specified uh, dim dimensions and it has a container at the top and you can see that this container is tilted at a certain angle and the idea was that the balls would fall on the field uh, when we move with the motor this here we have a motor and then when the motor rotates some of the balls will fall on the field uh, you can find the instructions for this container below the video but uh, it seems that it was not working as we expected Let's now fill the container with the balls. The maximum was 27. So we can have fewer balls, but we decided to go for the maximum. That's it. This year, these are all the balls and now the container is full and the idea was that we move on the field and we have the robot the robot the motor at the front of the robot and when the motor turns probably some of the balls would fall on the field but uh, as you now see this doesn't quite work let me just start the program Now you're moving, you're shaking it, but they're locked and it's quite difficult for a ball. Okay, one second, but as you can see, it's, well, it's, we thought that it was an interesting solution, but at the end, it seems that it does not work without some manual push on the balls so in the next video we will explore other solutions and ways we can uh, build a container from which the balls could fall let's see what, what we can came up with